y'all welcome back i'm dominique for anyone that is new here i'm taking some time today to talk about my job as a medical laboratory scientist these are all questions that are asked by you guys and i have not done a q a style video in a long time so hopefully i can help anyone interested in learning more about the laboratory profession from a personal perspective so what is a medical laboratory scientist? We are a part of Allied Health, which is a broad group of professionals who support the diagnosis and treatment of diseases. I work within the clinical pathology department for diagnostic medicine. So my job is to test blood and body fluids to provide lab results for patients in the hospital. What does a medical laboratory scientist do? Generally, we work in a laboratory to perform testing to determine the state of the patient. These tests can help evaluate a lot of different organ systems like your liver, your kidneys, heart, urinary tract, and even your immune system, just to name a few. The lab test can show any abnormal values, like very low or very high levels for a test. So basically, we are looking for anything out of the ordinary. Consider it like investigating, in a sense. We identify and report all of our findings to the providers. Do you work directly with patients in the clinical setting? I have absolutely no form of direct patient contact. One thing about this job is that I get to help patients behind the scenes, so I can provide my lab findings to help patients get the care they need without ever having to see them. I do work closely with the phlebotomists and nurses who are trained to collect the blood and other body fluids I need in order to do testing. At max, I just answer their questions on how to properly collect and label the specimens. On the flip side, in the hospital setting, I don't ever contact the patient about their lab results. It's out of my scope of practice and I wouldn't want to anyway because the lab data that I provide is only a small portion of the bigger picture for the provider to determine a diagnosis and a treatment for the patient. But I am trained to know what I'm looking for and what I'm looking at and to correlate that to possible disease states that the patient might be experiencing. For example, I can look at bacteria, yeast, and parasites causing infection. I can see sickle cell anemia by looking at the shape of the red blood cells, and I can identify crystals and body fluids that are present in certain diseases. And that's just a few things that we can investigate with just the microscope. Most of the other testing is done in test tubes on the bench or we're working with analyzers and things. And there's also like rapid kits that we can perform and have results in minutes for like COVID and flu and other infections like HIV, mono, and syphilis. So I know what these lab results could mean, and I share these results and discuss my findings with the providers. So the MD, the PA, the MP, as well as the nurses, and sometimes with pharmacy, who all work together directly with the patient. What is required to work in a hospital laboratory? A simple answer to this is that it depends on where you live. In the United States, the easiest thing that you can do is to get certified through one of the credentialing agencies and then get licensed if your state requires it. I am credentialed as a generalist under ASAP or the American Society of Clinical Pathology. So usually a medical laboratory scientist is at the four year degree level and a medical laboratory technician is at the two year degree level if you cared to know that. So if you are considering a similar route through education, it's important to make sure that your program is NACLS accredited, which means that when you graduate, you are ready to take the national certifying exam right away. So yeah, as a journalist, I can practice in all areas of the general medical laboratory, but I choose to work in microbiology now. There's tons of other specialty areas though, like flow cytometry and molecular diagnostics, serology, toxicology, and cytogenetics, just to name a few. But in most hospital settings, the common areas that you'll usually find work is in like microbiology and blood bank, chemistry, and hematology. Where does a medical laboratory scientist work? I guess if you haven't assumed by now, I work in a hospital laboratory setting. But there's many settings that one can work, like reference labs, clinic labs, urgent care, state public health labs, biomanufacturing labs, as well as going industry or going to work for research in academic labs. How stressful is the laboratory? I would say, in my opinion, working in a laboratory really depends on the day, but it can be pretty stressful just like other healthcare-based professions. Um, at a given time during a shift, I am responsible for testing and reporting results on patients all over the hospital. From the ER to the ICU, OR, labor delivery, NICU, med surge, cardiology, pediatrics, whatever other department you can think of, it's our responsibility in the lab to make sure each and every patient gets results in a timely manner. It's also on us to make sure that patients are getting accurate test results as well. There's a lot of factors that go into making sure these lab results are truly going to show what's going on inside of the patient. And if any of these factors fail, like QC or calibrations for instance, it can make for some stress. Do you ever get any misconceptions? I haven't gotten too many comments on my channel about misconceptions, but one that I will point out is our job titles. We have so many names and titles for just our one job in the lab, it can be a bit confusing. The most up-to-date titles 
are medical lab scientists and medical lab technician, or MLS and MLTs. Uh, you might also be familiar with clinical in the name instead for CLS and CLT, or even the title for medical technologist, which is an MT. But these are all older terms that may be phasing out eventually, and I do hope that it will lessen the confusion with our job titles. However, it's titled in your area. The job is generally referring to us in the lab that are trained to carry out patient testing. Um, another misconception that I've ran into is just that other healthcare professionals don't really understand what we do in the laboratory. I think a common misconception of the job is that the lab is just full of button pushers. I do work with automation to carry out testing methodologies because we are modernized in the lab. We don't have to do every test by hand. <laughs> but I still have to understand the test that I'm running on the analyzer in order to report those results to the chart. I have to also look for factors that may cause false results. For example, hemolysis or clots, lipemia or even contaminants in the sample that will affect a wide range of tests. And um, there's a lot of technical work for the job as well. To briefly explain, in the general lab, I carried out maintenance on the analyzers and preventive care of major parts like the probes, as well as doing calibrations and quality control on the reagents in order to make sure our testing is safe to report patient results. In most lab areas, um, it's more to the job than just pushing buttons. There's a lot of science behind the work that we do to provide quality results. Another misconception is that people don't know we have the college degrees. I've had a few nurses make remarks to me at work where they actually said to me that they assumed we only had high school education. They seemed to be shocked when I told them that I have a four-year degree and certification to work in a medical laboratory. So for the most part, it feels a little offensive sometimes when I get these assumptions. But I do understand that we are behind the scenes and so no one really knows what we do. I hope that my content on my channel can help people that are getting into this field and others that just want to know more about what the lab is like. So, if medical laboratory science interests you, please check out my channel and subscribe to my content for more videos in the future. I am in the process of creating a Notion-based website called LaRae's Lab, so please check out the link in the description box. If you have any more questions about working in the lab, feel free to ask in the comment section below and I will answer them in my next Q&A video. Uh, I really do hope this video was helpful. I'll see you guys next time.